All right, so today we're gonna do that lime. So I'm gonna kind of give myself an area about this big and then I can cut out my lime afterwards and give it its shape. So just go ahead and sketch a, a big old circle on your page and then we'll do like we did the last two days and we'll come back and cut our lime out of that area. And again, I'm gonna give it some, some light greens and some dark greens, right? I've got my different color green markers here today. So we've done uh, watercolor paint and then yesterday we did color pencil. Today we're gonna go ahead and do some markers. Um, I'm gonna give it a little bit of yellow, right? Shadow and shine, right? Those color, um, we wanna have those different color variations. Right? So we have our lighter colors up here. I'm gonna put my darker greens down here and we're just gonna messy put it on just like we've done the past couple days. So just, Grab your marker, have a little fun. Go ahead and get some different color greens on your paper. Let them crisscross a little. You know, you can even take your, uh, your old markers, like this one you see starting to dry up a little bit. You can take your old markers and you can turn them into watercolor paint. All you have to do um, is let them soak in a jar or a cup with a little bit of water. Oh, that one's drying out too. Look at that. And the, uh, the rest of the color, so the rest of that color will end up coming out and making some nice watercolors for you. paper over we're gonna sketch our our lime out here now we know a lime is essentially uh, an oval but not a perfect oval because limes are fruit so they get some lumps and some bumps on them so we're gonna start by uh, first I'm gonna put on if you've ever noticed uh, limes have like a little a little bumpy right there like this right then we kind of go up so big mountain curve line like this
curve around the bottom like that. And then sort of a flattened end over here, right? Uh, maybe bump it just a little bit more than that. That's kind of where it used to used to connect back to the tree, right? Where its little stem used to be. Alright, I'm going to cut that out and then I'm going to place it with my other two pieces of fruit we already have and we'll see how they look. All right, there's my lime. Let's see. So now we have our lime on green day, our banana, and our apple. My apple's upside down. I'm going to decide at the end of the week how I want to put my fruit collage together. <laughs> 